Tonight, Hoosiers will have the chance now to hear directly from the candidates running for Indiana governor. And this debate, for the first time in history, will be virtual. Alexa Green is joining us now, taking a look at tonight's format and some of the hot button issues. Alexa, good morning. Good morning to you, Angela. This one hour event, it won't have a live audience, and you'll likely notice the candidates will be at least six feet apart on that stage. Now, one of the topics that will likely be brought up is each candidate's plans for justice reform and equality. Incumbent Governor Eric Holcomb says his plan includes a third party review of state police and the state's law enforcement academy. He says he'll create a public disparity data portal and a chief equity inclusion and opportunity officer. But Democratic candidate Dr. Woody Myers says everyone in his administration would play that role. Dr. Myers says he will then also make sure officers get implicit bias training and also understand the communities that they serve. I don't see the need for having a person reporting to the governor uh, who is in charge of diversity and inclusion. We've narrowed that down to about a handful. Meanwhile, Libertarian Donald Rainwater says Holcomb's plan only makes state government even bigger. Every situation can be traced back to a government law, a regulation, a statute that created an inequity because we allowed government to overstep its bounds. Now, one of the things all candidates do agree on, body cameras for police officers should be a priority. Back to tonight's debate, it does begin at 7 p.m. We will be streaming it on our website. That's fox59.com. And coming up next hour, we're going to be hearing about each of the candidates' response to COVID-19 and what their plans are for the future if elected.